Just like 80% of adults out there, I too suffer from back pain. And this is why I am so excited about the next big thing in personal care. And a hint, it's robotic. Let's check it out. We're here at Escape, and we're going to meet the founder and CEO, Eric Littman. He was named as one of the best inventors in 2024 by Time Magazine. Let's go get a massage. Hey there, Eric. Hi, Jenny. We are at New York City's coolest and hottest robotics company, Escape. Eric, help me escape. Come on in, I'll help. <laughs> there we are. So Eric, how did all of this get started? I've been building tech companies for a very long time, and I've been an athlete most of my life, and the combination of this and this on a phone, plus way too much travel, left me with some significant neck pain for which the only relief I could ever find was massage. And I got it just about everywhere you could imagine on the planet, and some were great, others didn't give me exactly what I wanted, and what I really needed was consistency, so I just decided one day to go and build it myself. Tell me a little bit about this massage table and these robotics arms. How is this the next big thing? Number one, we have sensors overhead here that create a 3D model of your body. So when you're laying on the table, we get this very detailed picture of you that helps to hyper-personalize the massage to you. Number two, right beneath the headrest here, there is a touch screen that shows off your body and gives you the opportunity to really dial this into the exact experience you want. And number three, it's consistent everywhere you go. So no matter where you book it, you show up at a local gym, you're at a hotel when you're traveling, you're in your corporate office that has one of these tables, you're gonna get the exact massage that you want every single time. And is this a massage table that's, you know, just for rich people or houses? What, how does this work? What's your business model? So it's really important to me that we can help democratize massage for more and more people. I don't know if you know this, but only one in five U.S. adults got a massage in the last 12 months. About 20% of the population. We're looking to double that at least in the next year. You're paying about $60 for a 30-minute session with us. That 30-minute session feels like it's at least an hour of a regular massage because both of these arms are working on you at the same time and at the end of it you get to walk away knowing that your body's feeling great you're recovered from stress you're recovered from from pain you're recovered from the athletic work you've been doing and you can go about your day in a really short period of time and hopefully incorporate this into an ongoing habit and so why should massage be an ongoing habit what are some of the health benefits of a massage look everybody hurts we have bodies that take a great deal of stress we're on our phones we're at computers we're sitting entirely too much. Massage therapy is a great way to help you relieve some of the pressure and pain that you might feel from any of those. Tell me a little about the innovation process that you went through. So this is seven years worth of engineering. There are some very hard scientific challenges to solve, some big engineering challenges, supply chain challenges, to be able to deliver a robot that's capable of safely interacting with these bodies that we have. We all have incredibly different levels of preference. Bodies come in every shape and form that you might imagine. And these operate without another person in the room. They have to be able to do all of this on their own. So there's just been a great deal of work in what's called perception systems, being able to see and perceive and feel the body. Tremendous amount of work in moving the robot arms in a way that feel like a person. They feel familiar. When you're on this table, it feels like there's something kind of human-like massaging you there. Um, but that also is going to be safe in every single moment, guaranteed. So you just said human-like. What about the naysayers who are going to say, oh, but this is going to replace human massage therapists? And we've heard that question with every new technology that's been introduced to the world. The practical matter is there aren't enough massage therapists today to give the massages that people want. There are over 30,000 open job positions for massage therapists in the U.S. Flip side of it, though, is not everybody wants to be massaged by a person. And we're here to bring massage to even more people than have ever had it before. Maybe you're insecure with your body. Maybe you don't want to be nude in front of a stranger. Maybe you've had massages that didn't deliver exactly what you want. We open this up to a much broader audience. Eric, you are a serial tech entrepreneur. So what's next? Okay. Second half of next year, we start bringing this worldwide. We bring in much more personalization. We really allow you to dial it into the experience that you really want it to be. This is just the beginning. Can I get on the table? I would love to get you on the table. Let's go see the Let's go.
wow, that definitely was the next best thing after a human massage. And this massage was really adapted specifically to me. I was able to push all these little buttons, what type of massage I was looking for, what kind of music I wanted to listen to. The massage hands are nice and warm. So my verdict, give it a try.